How's the hanging fella? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Borderlands 3 and in today's episode we're going to do another um What's it called again? Oh, like a raid Takedown, there we go, takedown on the Malone Blank site. We're not gonna do that one, they added a new one uh, They added it about a week ago I was a little late to this because my internet connection at this moment is a little questionable, a little Less a lot, leaves a lot to be desired from it and and yeah, we're gonna do this fucking mission. Another thing I have to mention: if that crystal, will you? If you've been watching this vi these videos while they're coming out, then you may notice that there was no episode 36 of uh, The Outer Worlds. And you might be like, "What the fuck was the episode 36?" I had episode 36. I uploaded it, but then at the last moment, I noticed that the file is broken, and it just didn't work. And by didn't work, I mean YouTube fucking loaded the whole thing and it just stopped at 99% and pissed me off. Anyway, there's a fucking mission. We got like a weird thing. Using that crystal Navigate to Minos Prime. World, I have detected energy signatures consistent with guardian activity in the Minos system. Minos Prime is a well-settled planet. Perhaps we can enlist the help of some locals to track down the source. <laughs> Bring the ship there and we can begin. Got a feeling there will be no fucking locals. It worked. I tried doing this. Oh, fuck off. I tried doing this uh, yesterday with my flag, and what happened? I was doing pretty well. This looks pretty fucking sick, and the thing that's for free. That's mine. That's pretty prime, awesome. But it's been destroyed. Vault Hunter, I'm still picking up those readings from some of the debris. The ground there looks stable. Take a drop pod down. And Bye. what happened? I fell down a hole and I died and then was like, you know what, fuck it, I don't care. We'll see how far I can get in this video and if I don't get very far, just like I did when I first tried to take down at Malawan Black site, I think I've done three fucking different videos when I'm trying to do that. No, two, two different. Oh, we can unlock this if you want to. Let's check it out. I'm always forgetting to open these. And I was hoping to get some kind of legendary out of this because purple weapons are too shit for me. I'm only using exclusively. So I got this gun. This gun looks pretty sick. It's a Torg rifle. But it's like full automatic and doesn't have uh, Firestorm. This gun, I used to hate this gun, but as a sniper rifle, it kind of sucks, but this gun is powerful. <laughs> And then I got Jackhammer, which I don't even know what the fuck. Alright, let's go. Have you ever had a Pepsi from a glass? Did I like fucked up the bottle cap? I'm trying not to fuck up the bottle caps. I'm kind of collecting like non fucked up bottle caps. I've been doing it for a while now, but. To get them in like a good condition when they're not even bent in a little bit. Ah, it's just hard, fucking hard, man. Yeah, so just to keep up with the whole thing that I... I'm recording this on Monday and usually I would upload this on like... Tuesday evening, that right? Of Minos should be stable enough for you Don't to ask me why, but just how I do it. And Proceed at your leisure. But this I'll Whatever upload on Saturday because there's no there's no video for Saturday because the video that was supposed to come out on Saturday broke. This planet, I am increasingly sure it is related to the Guardian signal. Enter the breach, Vault Hunter, and find it. And the worst thing about it is that it's um, it's like a video that happened like really fucking late. It was like the end of the game, but thankfully it was only one of the side missions, so I didn't miss any of the main missions. I was doing a side mission, and not a very interesting one. So, yeah, only thing, it's the final mission for, what's it called again? Uh, Sublight, mercenary group. And the final mission for them is to go to like a spaceship and just like, take it over. But I think I did it in like a peaceful way, where I didn't even kill anyone. Some other legendaries on me, but that's uh, not important. Net, the DLC called. Ah, fuck, I forgot what it's called. It's like a fucking cowboy samurai team DLC that's supposed to come out. It's supposed to come out uh, later this month. 
so when it comes out, I'm tr gonna try to get it. Here? I think the it's gonna release like. appear to have been ripped apart so much as burst open from within. On Saturday, I think it's supposed to be Saturday. I don't know. Oh shit, I'm falling down. I was trying to use a sniper rifle. What level is this again? Because I got a lot of legendaries that are. 57, 57, 50. I'm not mind it. Look, this gun is really good. Only if it wasn't 7 levels lower. Alright, I'm gonna jump down and see what I can fuck up. Fuck up. And I'm gonna attempt not to kill myself too. Shit. You know what's funny? My flak used to be my definitive character that I use for everything. Well, my Zane is so insanely powerful right now. Oh, jeez. It's almost too powerful, because usually when I kill myself, it's because I blew myself up. Look how much shit's flying around. It's all great because it like, kills enemies for me, but it also kills me. Alright, I don't want to die at the very beginning. Come on, every like a little bit of a location. I heard this this one actually has puzzles. And who knows, maybe I can actually finish this one. I was also supposed to record Yakuza 0 today, this week. I think next week I'm instead of like recording something series, I'm gonna record a bunch of gameplays and such out of the Sega Mega Drive games. So there's a lot of them that I don't really want to beat because they're either like really long JRPGs that don't work as well. Like, yeah, okay, you can beat them, but what I mean is that they're mostly text-based. Like, you know, cutscenes are like text-based. Combat looks very boring. And I would just not want to play this, really. But I might do a gameplay and such, I don't know. And who knows, maybe I'll play some games that I'll think that, you know, I actually want to beat this as a let's play. See, I was thinking that I'm gonna suck dick. This gun is great. I picked it up because it looked like something I wouldn't like because it's a torque weapon and I usually don't really enjoy using torque weapons. And yeah, okay, I gotta shoot and reload almost immediately after, but... Jeez, this is fucking fucked up powerful. I only wish I couldn't die so much. Have I done it? There more enemies to kill? Yeah, I can already see more enemies to kill. Ouch. I also picked up not a oh god damn. Thank you, he jumped to my to save me, what a nice guy. I don't know if it's my shield that does this electric thing that's coming out of me. I think it might be. Alright, get out of here. There's more and more of them coming, I swear to god. It looks like one of those uh, trials that you do at the end of the game. I mean, don't have to do. We did some of them in the first bonus episode of this game. I don't know which bonus episode is this actually. Maybe this uh, gun. No, it shoots like four bullets at the same time. That's probably why it's so powerful. Shame I don't have it on my mouse because my mouse has this whole regenerating ammo thing. I really like using the lot of guns and those because they have like with a big magazine. Sometimes I shoot the gun and I don't even reload it and all I reload I'm like I can reload my gun? I forgot about that. But I am unfamiliar with its purpose. Start pushing buttons, I suppose. I haven't played anything so fucking explosive and loud in a while, jeez. I'm playing it on my old TV. 
And oh man, this is kind of weird. Like, I could use the plane. This is my big new TV. And now, if you haven't been watching my previous Let's Plays where I explained that I'm recording a different location, and I got a different television. What am I doing? Anyway, I remember that I recorded um, Brayman Legends here, actually. So it's not like I'm in a completely different location. It's a funny story that uh, when I was recording Brayman Legends, right, it was like 2018. <laughs> But the final episode, the bonus one, was actually made in 2020 because that's when I... My sister was replaying the game and she made way more progress than I did because she replayed levels while I didn't give a shit up to do that. And yeah, and I finally was able to get to that last chapter. What am I supposed to do? Those crystals do not seem to want to stay charged. Um, should I go down and like charge them myself? I heard you have to like do these two uh, players. Oh man, it sucks. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I actually have to do it to let. Maybe I can like leave my clone over here. Can I shoot it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, I can't really progress. This is required to be done to levels? Two people, I mean? Maybe if I stand on it, then it will just charge. Oh yeah, it is doing something, okay. I just have to stand on it. Ah, okay, I was afraid I'm not gonna be able to do that. Because I was thinking about doing this uh, with, with another person. Because I was gonna sit down with my friend and actually record the uh, Streets of Rage. And then I thought after Streets of Rage I could do like gameplay and such out of two player games like here. Maybe I could do like a bonus episode of Mortal Kombat with him, maybe I could do like a bonus episode of Crash Team Racing again, but instead this will be a two-player. And I was thinking of this. That must be the source of the signal. <laughs> this looks really cool, actually, I've got to say. This is possibly lore expanding, and I'm always interested in Borderlands lore. And it's very loose, you know, I would call it loose. It ain't like Borderlands is all about the lore. They it's more about guns and funny jokes and stuff. But it does have interesting lore. I like this balance of it, of it being like complicated enough to be interesting, but not complicated enough to be fucking awful and just overcomplicated. Something like uh, I don't want to say Metal Gear lore because Metal Gear lore is like comprehensible. You know, you can understand Metal Gear lore. There's just a lot of characters with different names and double agents backstabbing and shit like that. Lots of characters that you might confuse with different characters because they have similar names. And other crap like that. I was watching the Terminator 2 recently. I think I was talking about Terminator 1 in one of my Mega Man Let's Plays, but I was watching Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which is superior in every single way. I definitely did like it in every single way. I like Arnold more in that one. It didn't have any of these weird looking practical effects, like when Arnold was operating on himself in the first one, and it just looked so fucking stupid and silly. What boss fight? No, it's an enemy that's too high to shoot. Where, where is it? Go kill the enemy for me, I can't see him. Or maybe I can just keep going. Yeah, it seems like I can keep going. Damn, this reminds me of pre-sequel. Pre-sequel had a lot of shit like that. 
Oh, fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Can I reach it? Ah, oh, fuck. I missed it. I thought I wouldn't even hit the rock, and now I gotta do this all over again. I'm gonna give this another shot just because he died in such a silly fucking awful way. Let's try this again with this gun this time. We'll, we'll see what it does. Come on, this is easy. I fucking died here? because I'm a dumbass. The planet does not appear to have been ripped apart so much as burst open from within. How does this gun do? <laughs> Hmm, doesn't do as much damage as a pistol. It is fucking cool. I like this gun. I don't know if it's one of the new ones. Let me see. Uh, Julia Dazzle. No, I don't think it is. It is. The Anarchist, the shotgun uh, from TDR I have in my equipment. That's a new one from the Guns, Love and Tentacle DLC. There's all this weird shit. That's definitely my shield. Let me see my shield. Yeah, it is. Well, depleted elect. What the fuck? Oh man. <clears throat> okay. Gonna cut out some of this me taking off headphones because it's making an annoying sound. So yeah, it is this shield that does this whole stupid thing of me shooting electricity out of myself. So the fact that I'm keep like throwing grenades out of myself, that must be one of the skill points I have. This could be really cool if it was like regenerating ammo. Basically just carrying a fucking cannon around. It has some weird uh, elemental effect on it. No, it doesn't have any elemental effect. But it looks like it does. It shoots kind of like a blue beam. It's not the laser exploder, by the way. Laser exploder is the other gun I have in my equipment. Uh, it's this one. Laser exploder. This one's pretty cool. I'm keeping that one for that uh, cowboy DLC. I don't know why. I just thought it would be an interesting gun to be carrying around. But that pistol is doing way better. My clone's doing this electricity thing too. Holy shit, so much particle effects on the fucking screen. It's insane. Have I ever told you what I feel about Borderlands? It's like. Have you ever seen, like, in a TV show or a movie where a character is playing a video game and it's not a real video game but it's more like a pre prepared 3D render of what someone thought a video game is? And it's just a bunch of, like, character running around with a gun doing all this. Like, remember in GTA 5 when Jimmy's playing this, like, made-up video game? It's called the like, Righteous Slaughter or something. Well, I always felt that Borderlands is like that. I mean, is it too far-fetched for Borderlands to have a weapon that's basically a sh pile of shit on a stick? I don't think so. All these guns in this game are ridiculous and all this shit happening. like Borderlands is. Like if you never played this game and you just watch me running around shooting a laser gun and a shit ton of explosions happening then you might think that this is some ridiculous bullshit. I noticed one thing about these trials, like when I was keep doing the Black Sight trial and I still haven't finished it, I got to Dwotan on my flat, and on, on my mode actually. And he just kicked my ass. I think I got him like half of his health, but he was like putting up these shields. I couldn't do anything about the shield. Yeah, this gun saved my ass. I should just exclusively use this gun. I think this one is from Moxie's DLC. Uh, it has like flame on it, and I think you get that one for health and torque with all of the bottles that we get. 
I definitely must have gotten this gun while I was not doing that challenge on my mode. And yeah, I still haven't played through the game of Amara. I don't know. I feel like I'll add a new fucking character before I beat the game with Amara. It just she seems the least interesting to me. Like what she can do a ground pound, a fourth push, and a bunch of other not very interesting shit. I like the fact that I have this skill that makes my uh, turret, not my turret, my drone. When I kill someone, it regains some of its durability, so it can stay for longer. And the amount of time sometimes I get to my drone, it never goes away almost. It's there all the time, throughout the whole fight. Helping me out because it's my beloved turret. Drone. I can't even hear myself talk, it's just so fucking loud, so many explosions, and I think I'm fun now. Unless I'm not. No, come back. Anything, come back, please. Aw, oh, man, I'm, I'm dead. Fuck. That kinda sucks. Let me do one more attempt with a jackhammer. And then I'm gonna throw these guns away and uh, never use them again. I don't think this is as hard, I almost... I got through it. I don't know, I feel like the other one was way harder. Maybe. Okay, so this gun's really good, the pistol's really good. The Krakatoa, this one's called? It's not actually Krakatoa. It's Firestorm. Oh, I'm using the wrong sniper rifle. It's the Krakatoa that has this uh, really cool effect and it's really powerful. Oh man, I picked up the wrong one. Oh shit, whatever. I think we used the Krakatoa at least once before. I know this gun speaks in Jack's voice. It's called the Jackhammer. Yeah, you can actually hear the gun talking in Jack's voice. Another reference to yeah. Handsome Jack, here you go. If you really love Handsome Jack, you'll be happy. Is this gun actually gonna do any damage? Shame I'm not fighting against enemies with guns, because then it would've actually make sense for me to put a shield on. It doesn't seem bad. It eats two enemies hell, that's what matters. Maybe if I get an element, maybe I don't have the right build for this gun, right? You know, it's always the build. I just always got the wrong build, that's pretty much the fault in everything. I almost fell off the fucking cliff again by walking backwards. I wish I had grenades on me. Because I'm always facing like a crowd of enemies and just have for a grenade to be thrown in their face. And I don't got any grenades because I got two uh, I got two action skills instead. Where's my shield? But my guy ain't deploying shield sometimes. Broken. Oh like broke. Oh is it not deploying shield while I don't have a shield? Is that like a gimmick this gun has? I thought this gun's gimmick is that when I throw it, it just like bounces around and does a, a, like damage. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. I don't even know what happened. That's usually how I get healed up in this game. I don't even know how. This is gonna happen. Right, right, right. If I die now, I'm not gonna attempt to beat this. I'm actually kind of hoping that I die because I actually managed to get through. 
That means I gotta go through the whole thing, right? But man, I, I got through it and I died such a lame fucking stupid way. I fucking fell off a cliff. Because it like pushed me, I didn't expect it that they want me to jump again from that little edge. I thought I would just fly over it. And then I just walked off and I fucking fell into my death. That's a pretty lame. Mafia Definitive Edition, the remix Mafia 1 uh, trailer came out. It's not actual gameplay, so I don't know how actual game is gonna look, but I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Looking forward to a lot of games. Almost, many, almost maybe too many games, you know? I don't know what the fuck to put my money into. Do I buy my dungeons? Do I get dreams finally? Do I buy the Sponge SpongeBob remake? Do I buy the Tony Hawk remake? Do I buy the Mafia remake? Do I save money for a PS Plus subscription again? Or do I buy Cyberpunk? Shit, there's a lot of stuff I wanna buy. The PS5 got announced. It's probably gonna be late to get it just like always. I'm late to get everything. I don't care to get stuff on release. I like to wait until it's like, okay, people tested it out, there's like more stuff on it. It's like a good reason to buy it instead of just caving in and just fucking buying whatever the fuck comes out. Maybe I'll buy a lighter version that'll be cheaper. Maybe I'll buy a Pro Edition. I definitely won't buy the Discless Edition. Yeah, that's what I call it, this glitch. Sounds really stupid, I know, I'm out of ammo, I can't believe this. Not my pistol. My clone, if it would be so great if it wasn't that they can damage my clone. Because every time I put up my clone, he just dies. Faster than he actually can stay on the battlefield. My clone didn't even show up even though I called it. Actually gonna end up getting through it. Nah, whatever. Fuck it. Ain't like I got anything better to do anyway. Damn it! I think I will make a bonus episode of uh, Mortal Kombat because there's an update came out like a while ago now. But they added new stages, they added strange ships. I wanna check it out. So maybe I'll play with my friend when he comes over. Recording session I planned. Keep talking about that and maybe it won't fucking come. It won't happen for one reason, one reason or another, and you'll think that I have no friends. Which you won't be fucking wrong about. Speaking of Terminator 2, I, was, I mentioned before, I, I watched that movie with my mom when I was a kid one time, but it was a scene, it's in the insane asylum, right, where Sarah is kept, and the T-1000 comes to, like, a security guard, and he just kind of puts his finger to his eye, stabbing him to death, and that's what freaked me out as a kid, and I just didn't watch it with her anymore. I just walked out of the room, I was scared to watch it. And that's funny because before there's a scene where he like stabs the guy through the... Through the, um... Through the mouth, and I didn't get scared of that one. I guess eye injury is just something I'm not into. I wouldn't want to get my eye injured. I actually did get through it, look at that. It is clearly Iridian technology, but I am unfamiliar with its purpose. Start pushing buttons, I suppose. But you know what? The ability to turn your hands into weapons is like the coolest shit I I can think of. I always really dig characters with abilities like that. Like in Prototype, there's this whole thing called like Alex Mercer, and in Prototype 2, the other guy that no one remembers his fucking name. 
even me, and you know, they get the abilities to turn their arms into weapons. Like they can turn them into claws, they can turn them into like swords, something else. I remember only using claws and swords. And they look so fucking cool. I remember that I was so into prototype. I remember when I got prototype, I got it from PS Plus. But I only had this like monthly subscription because I had it from like a promotional material or whatever. And I did. They were given out PS Plus subscriptions for a month, and I got it for a month, right? And what happened? And what happened was that uh, I only had like a day to finish it, but I was only like halfway through the game, so I like like for a whole day I just sat there and played Prototype Two. I remember that I didn't really like the story because I thought the whole like I've, even then I thought like okay my character wants to save his daughter but he's totally okay with murdering everyone on his fucking way he doesn't give a shit that they might have a little daughter just like his An Iridian temple. like why would he give a fuck about that look I can just walk through them if I want to it's not really a reason for me to like stay and kill everyone because I don't get XP from this Oh yeah, I wonder if they will expand the level cap again, like with the next DLC or whatever next update. Those vines are identical to those found on Earth. I'm running away. I never thought to connect them to that planet's disintegrating structure. Hmm. Let's try not to fuck it up this time. Check it out. I'm going to fucking land on this thing. Okay, now I should make it. I should make it. There we go, I made it. It was so easy and I died so stupidly. Even though I admit this uh, whole spinning thing isn't really helping. I don't like this. This is like the ending of the base game. Except kind of darker, maybe. The man on black set was kind of fun. Yeah, what about the Guardians? This is a Guardian takedown and I haven't seen a single Guardian yet. And from what I remember, they're pretty easy, because they're here like, little health. Their health bars are like, really shitty. Like, pretty weak. Maybe I was wrong, look, these guys aren't. This guy doesn't even take damage. I'm starting to be a little worried about this. You know what, even if I die right now, at least I got enough footage of this fucking new takedown. Because I feel like the first time I played Mallow on Black Side, I didn't even fucking progress a little bit. Because the thing about it was that I wanted to play it on my Zane. And by the time this came out, I wasn't even level 50 on my Zane, I was like level 40 something. Mallow on Black Side was designed to be the beaten at level 50. And what happened. How do I kill these guys? They're fucking immune. Oh, uh, they're just like suicidal guys. I'm supposed to trick them into killing themselves. I believe that's what's, what's going on with these guys. Unlike suicidal psychos, you can kill before they blow themselves up. Seems like these guys you can't even kill before they blow themselves up. Or maybe I'm just not doing enough damage to kill them. But I feel like that's not the case. I was able to kill most enemies. That might be it. I don't think I can kill this guy fast enough. Nope, I'm dead. Ah oh, man, Pepsi. Pepsi's the best fucking coke. Well, that's what happens. Too bad, I guess. Too fucking bad. So anyway, this was... Um, take down the Guardian Breach. Another takedown came out June 4th. It's available for free, so if you haven't played it yet and you do have Borderlands with an internet connection, 
but you don't have the season patch and you're like, man, this is bullshit. Then don't worry, because this is all for free for anybody. The DLC that comes out later this month, that one isn't for free. So anyway, hold on, how do I... No, fuck you. Letters of Science pretty bad, jeez. Alright, so see you fellas in the next episode, bye.